about this. I never and ain't nobody never looked at it like this. And me and him had this conversation. I I shared with y'all right here on Boss Talk. I never told this. Mike Epps had to come behind Chris Tucker mm-hmm. mm. Friday. Mm. This fat bitch get physical. She sell dope, do hair, and babysit out the same house. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yo, um, man, like so. Being with Mike Epps, what do you, some things, do you, when you see his comedy and the way he carry his whole dynamic, what what do you see in him as far as uh, being, because he like the OG in the game for you, right? Mike is smart, and it's all about marketing with Mark, I mean, well, um, with Mike. Mike, if you know this, what he did, he took what he did in the movies and brought it to the stage. No matter where he goes, he's staying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to sell out regardless. Mike's selling 10, 12,000 tickets. Day day. That's hard. All he got to do is come out there and grab a mic. It's up. It's up. I like it. And the reason I, I, I just see how, man, the movies, I was watching All About the Benjamin the other night. Like, shoot, I rocks with them nigga movie. That nigga can act. That's an acting nigga. He got, he, it's just certain roles, man. Think about this. I never, and ain't nobody never looked at it like this. And me and him had this conversation. I, I shared with y'all right here on Boss Talk. I ain't never told this. Mike Epps had to come behind Chris Tucker mm-hmm. on Friday. Mm-hmm. This fat bitch get physical. She sell dope, do hair, and babysit out the same house. The police don't know when to kick the door in. We mm-hmm. all know how great Chris Tucker was on Friday. Mm-hmm. Mike Epps was so good, we never complained. Or compared. Compared. We want Chris Tucker to come back, all three of them. Remember, we want all of them to come back. Them to come back. we never complain like, damn, we miss Chris Tucker, man. He ain't mm-hmm. hit no more. Mm-hmm. Think about how good Mike Gibbs had been for that to happen. That's true. Heaven and us. Fuck that, all that shit. Nigga pulled that off, though. That nigga pulled it off, bro. And he told me, he, 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 he came to L.A. from New York on a bus with $1,200. Damn. He made that shit happen. He had to make it happen. That Michael nigga, real G, a man. Nigga, and he gave man. me some game. I can't share. Yeah. But he a real OG. And he won't see me come up. And yeah. not only me, but others as well. But, mm-hmm. man, it feel good when he stamp you. It really do. It yeah. Feel good. Yeah. Everybody else can tell you it's cool. You take the compliment. But when Mike else tell you that... That shit feels good, man. Man, Mike Epps, man. Nigga, to keep you laughing every damn time. For real, though. You know, when you watch um, comedy, or just like if you watch movies, and you see certain people act, and every movie that they come in, they act about almost very similar. You know what I mean? In my mind, I'm always like, that has to be how they really are in person. Well, how is he in person? Mike Epps in person? He, he's a little bit of uh, what you see like, in the movies. That's what I was wondering. But he's a little bit more reserved. He's, he, he, I would say this, in case the people don't know. He got a little Michael Mixing. Oh, yeah. really? Knowledge-wise. Mm. And as far as how he, how he thinks. Yeah. Not. I understand. Gets white people, nothing mm-hmm. like that. But his mind, mm-hmm. how he how he thinking, how he see things, and how he moves. Yeah, Mike Mike Mike's cerebral with this shit. Mm-hmm. He's cerebral with this shit, and he he know how to set things up a lot. So I, that's a, that's something about Mike. Y'all probably don't know. No, yeah, he's I, I, I ain't know the boy was uh, calculated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, real calculated. Um, Mike Epps is a like I said a damn good actor, but have it when he really ain't been he been focusing on his. Uh, he got that show, a dub show. Me up, daddy, pump me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate when you like him. Damn it's, show, dude. That's it, up show, up show. So that's what he been doing. He been chilling. I think to see him in the, on that big screen, him and Ice Cube well, you one know, more time. Well, you know they, they got they, they got it, the man. strike going on right now. Yeah. that damn right of strike. Faison called me about I that, man. What the hell is that, man? Yeah, it's been a long time. Man, money. What Remember, the hell is They on strike. They can't get that money. They can't do nothing. Let's get steady going. <laughs> they still getting them residuals from the ones the that they already out. Let's get steady going. 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 Let's get ste
Let's get going. Let's get rolling. That motherfucker ain't gonna make no movie. I ain't gonna write down drop a ski. Shout out to Face Hunt, though. You know what it is. I love Face Hunt, man. Man, he he dope, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he funny as hell. I fuck with Face Hunt, man. We need to link up me and Face Hunt, man. Hell yeah. He'll be out here on New Year's Eve. Yeah, link. New Year's Eve, damn. I'm gonna be in DC. Nah, nah, nah. We gonna rock it out. We gonna figure it out. Yeah, That's what I, we gonna I do. Fuck, we gonna figure I it fuck out. Fuck with the homie, man. That's why because I, I got my, I got my. He told me I got my cameras already. If I get you and him together in a movie, I'm gonna make a million. Tell on two, nigga. I get y'all on two. Tell That's what we got to do. Tell nigga I got some brisket for him. Big slab of brisket nigga, for the homie, man. That nigga on tube and blow that hoe up for man, I me. I fuck with Faison. It's, it's standing up dope, too. I fuck with oh, the big man. man. man you Much know respect I, to Faison, man. Bro, man, I'll be honest with you. I went to this dude's show, bro. That dude, just like you, showed me so much love, man. It's been a few people that just really rock with Balls Talk 101. Oh, um, uh, Chico Bean, too, but I'm just telling yeah. you, man. Faison showed us crazy, man. Love always trying to look out for Boss Talk 101. Going to call and check on us, too. So that's that's live. You know for what real, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you, like I said, man, you you every time I talk to you, you in some state, on some stage, getting to it. Got to. Got to, man. <laughs> I got to keep booked. up with y'all, man. Stay booked. Yeah, got to. That's well, the only way I'm going to eat. I seen you with uh, D.L. Hughley. Yeah, I bumped into what the What the hell was yeah, y'all man. doing talking? You know, he D-L- really. D.L. D-L- got D-L- on my D-L- ass. What? He, what? Oh, wow. Well, Oh, what did man, he say? Pause, but you know what he was. What are you pausing? What he what he do? Fussing at me. Why? Like, anything he asked me, I was like, I don't know. I, I'm not. I haven't done it yet. Why? Mm. Oh, he's straight. Let's get it. Like, he give like, me an example of something he asked you. He asked me about a couple of comedy clubs I haven't done yet, and I couldn't explain to him why I haven't done them. He got pissed off. He got pissed off. Like he don't ever want to talk to me again, and I tell him he don't know why I ain't done something. But let me ask you a question. But for you to do a certain comedy show, I mean, a certain comedy club, don't they have to reach out to you and say they want you at their show? I can reach out to work two ways. That's real. That's real. That's real. But not only he gave me the connection, he gave me his manager connection too. And made it like, get this brother here. That's good. And that was your first time meeting him? First time meeting him. He knew you or he didn't know me? What'd he say when he seen you? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> What'd he say? Screaming trash when I walked into the room. I me love what I do. That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna be big. Wow. I'm gonna be big. Man. Do you get tired of hearing that? Hell no. <laughs> Tell me that. I mean, I'm alive. If I can hear it, I'm alive. I'm living. That's real. I'm, I'm never too old and I never get too big where I, I can't uh, take criticism or, or, or learn from somebody. Because mm-hmm. he been in the game 25, 30 years. And regardless what the people say, oh, he ain't that funny. He doing something right. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker doing something right. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what people say. They say yeah. Kevin Hart ain't that funny, but he doing something right. Man, I can watch Kevin Hart movies all day. Kayla, mm-hmm. that nigga be having me laughing. I don't know what. It's just the movies, like you said. Movies. movies. We talking about stand-up. Oh. <laughs> just like oh, they I ain't said. been to a stand-up. I ain't been to a stand-up. Just like they said that um, the Cowboys ain't that good, but they doing oh, something right. Oh, wait a minute. Who said oh, yeah. that? Yeah. I'm with you, mom. I'm a, I'm a cowboy right now. Like it's up, but if the motherfucker lose, <laughs> I'm switching sides. <laughs> you ain't never gonna switch sides. Who? You? I'm the biggest flip flopper. Yeah, yeah. You still burn that jersey? I'm burning jersey. He man. will go there. You better make uh, damn sure you stay on his good side. You better be winning. Uh, you gotta win. It's the only way. That's the only win. way, man. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.